What is up, everyone, and welcome to That Kind of Love Podcast. I'm your host, Logan Hodge. And I am Trey Hodge. You know and <laughs> they don't know what you're saying. Oh, okay. but, but real quick, before we really get into the podcast, because we have a few new viewers or listeners, hopefully we do, um, but we just want to let you know what this podcast is about. It's about loving relationships of all kinds, mm-hmm. um, from your spouse to the person you're dating or people you're dating. That's your business, uh, Tabitha Brown. Oh. But, <laughs> uh, you know, for the people you're dating, um, for fam, for family, I won't say fans, but for <laughs> family and for friends. Um, and basically, this podcast is just trying to help as many people as you can make those relationships work. Yeah. Um, a lot of times people want them and they really desire them, but for whatever reason, they just can't make them work. And we're going to help. We want to help you guys through our experiences and what we have learned from other people and just through our daily lives. Um, hopefully we can help y'all make those relationships work. Yeah. And I want to segue actually from that. We actually had it and we talking to the camera. We had a goal. We had a goal to reach. Oh, yeah, we did. And uh, I don't want to look, but I want to say we hit our goal. Our goal was to make 30 views in, uh, by the, before the end of the month. And last time I checked, we're at 29. I'm sure we're at 30. And Hopefully. we're a few days away from the first. So <laughs> yeah. we can get one view. So thank you all. We just want to say we appreciate it. We appreciate the love. Um, y'all have been supportive. So we just want to keep on giving that great content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's keep it up. For sure, though. All right. So also before we get into the topics, we just want to say happy holidays. Yep. Uh, Christmas. Kruma. 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 Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Had just passed, and I mean, we had a pretty chill Christmas. It was fun. We uh, had breakfast with my brothers, went to his mom's house. She made us do puzzles, which was actually fun, but yeah. still, she made us do you can, puzzles. If you do puzzles with your, with somebody <laughs> you're in a relationship with, yeah, from, yeah, you can figure out what you're good at and what you're not good yeah, that's at, because I figured that out. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you, you realize how, if you really annoyed with your spouse or not, doing a puzzle, because just I can, don't talk to me. We good. All I can say is, don't dump all the puzzle pieces out because you ain't going to have no help from me. Trey, they know how to do puzzles. <laughs> We're not giving instructions on how to do puzzles. I'm saying if I'm on somebody's team, don't just don't dump have him, the- Just don't have him on your team. Just be like, I can do it myself. Bro, I'm the closer. Just bring me in. Nobody has time for that. But then, yeah, we just did that and then we went back home. We was just chilling for the most part. So, yeah. But yeah, also we want to say Happy New Year's. Yep, yep. Um, well, 2021. Happy, okay, is it Happy New Year? Because people say New Year's, and I'm like, but it's only one year. I don't mm-hmm. think that's a big deal. It matters, trust me. There's people who are like, it's Happy New Year. But don't charge us up for that. But anyway, Happy New Year. Okay. Um, I mean, remember, go ahead and start setting them goals. They should have been done. Mm-hmm. But you still got time. Set them goals for next year. For sure, write so. them down. For sure, for sure. So anyway, let's get into our relationship stuff today. What are we talking about, little mama? We are going to talk about, well, the first thing we're going to get into is about balance. And um, <laughs> and I want to talk about this because this is like the huge thing for people. Um, a lot of people get married because they feel like they need some, they need balance in their life. Like, mm-hmm. oh, if I get married, everything's going to be shared. If Everything, I have a child, it's going to be easier. You know, things are going to, that has nothing to do with Okay, I was what thinking of something else. Never Completely mind. different. Never this mind. is this is why I'm the main host and he's the co-host because <laughs> what? <laughs> but but about balance and um, I saw somebody I can't remember who it was but they had a quote and it said balance is a myth. And I was like, you know what? That is so true, on so many levels because, you know, just to give y'all. I guess more examples. So, you know, some people are like, what are you talking about? So when you were growing up, or at least for me, I know a lot of times people had this whole Mm 50-50. Oh, marriage. If your marriage not, you're not doing it right in your marriage if it's not 50-50. Like if it's a give and take. Like Mm -hmm. you give me some, then I give you some. We have to match each other's like percentages. And you grow up and you're like, oh, that is so true. So yeah. you just spout that all the time. You're like, you know, you have to have 50-50. Um, if I'm doing this, you have to be doing this, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, and then now that I'm in a marriage or, you know, a long-term relationship because mm-hmm. we've been together for a while, 
I was like, this, this, this is not, this not it. Like, where, where's this 50-50 at? Because I feel like I'm giving 80 right now. Mm-hmm. And, and he only giving 20. So... And, but these, but this is through other times. I'm not talking mm-hmm. about the entire like relationship, and you know, having that fifty fifty stuck in your head constantly, you're like, what are we doing wrong? Mm-hmm. Like, am I not supposed to be with this person? Because I feel like they're not giving me the same effort that I'm giving them. Yeah. So that's why I want to talk about this first because I, for people who not in a relationship. For people who in them, and you still have that cons- misconception that it's always going to be 50-50, get rid of that. Mm-hmm. Because that's doing nothing but hindering your relationship and hindering the possibilities of your relationship. Are you going to talk, or are you just going to no, shake your head and stare at me? No, you didn't give me nothing to, you didn't give me nothing to speak We're on, on in particular. Topic. Do you want me to... This is not an interview. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, "Hey, so Trey." Da, da, da. You like, know what it is. <laughs> you're a co-host. You know what it is. I know what it is. We didn't talk about my hair, but it's okay. Oh my no, it's god, okay. Okay. it's okay. You know, no, it's no, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> we're gonna get to it. That's gonna be somewhere in the middle Balance. of the. We're gonna be this somewhere. Is, this is <laughs> I was hurt. Okay, I was hurt. So we're gonna keep on talking about this subject, but eventually we're gonna get no, to this. No, real quick. We're just gonna. No, 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 no it's fine. Ain't no problem. Cut the shit. Ain't we no finish talking about this real quick. Trey, as y'all can see, and y'all try to, if y'all was looking like, he looked different. Like, what? It, what it's his hair. He finally went and got it twisted because he realized how long it was. And he, it, <laughs> if you hear the audio, but for whatever reason didn't just see the clip, that's <laughs> Trey shaking his head. <laughs> so that's why that noise came out just then. Yeah. But apparently he likes it. I like it. I like it. It's different. I have hair, so I should do something with it. You know? Yeah. Switch it up. I like it, too. It's just I have to get used to seeing it. So it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Like, I like twists. When I had hair, I was doing all kind of stuff with my hair, too. So. I like them two little ponytails. You look, like, sexy. But, uh, <laughs> like sexy. let's get back to this conversation. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so because Trey needs help with how a podcast works, I'm going to ask him the questions. When when you were getting into relationships or seemingly looking like our relationship was getting great, did you get advice from people about about specific things like that? Because I remember the first time we got advice about that specifically, it was from my pastor, and he was just like, oh, yeah, no, it ain't never going to be 50-50. Yeah. You know, yeah. he didn't exaggerate, but he was just like, don't expect that. What was that? Um, we were just in his office one day. Oh, okay. And he was just like, "Yeah, no." Yeah, I I forget where I heard that first, but um, for the longest time, I would think you know, fifty fifty because it makes sense. Of like, course, you give like, some, I give some, but number wise, obviously. Yeah, but, but yeah. I don't know. It's just the whenever I really figured out what it was really about, like the way to really do it, then. The 50 50 thing was like, that don't even make sense no more. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's, how is that possible? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> ignorant. It's just like, okay, why would I even do that? Like, why would I even give 50%? That's. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and then you have people who see it from that perspective where it's like, why am I giving 50% to a relationship? Am I supposed to give 100? Yeah. But when they talk about 50 50, they're talking about a give and take type mm-hmm. situation, not an effort situation, yeah. right? And what I realized once we got married, because when we were dating, we weren't living together. So it was kind of like, if you was in a mood, we could just not talk, yeah. you know? But when you live with somebody, it's like, if you in a mood, like, I can't, we can't like, just ignore each other yeah. for however long it takes you to get out of that, right? And what I realized is that there's going to be times where I'm able to give 70 mm-hmm. because you're not able to give you know you're 50 50 so mm-hmm. if i'm giving 70 and then you're giving me the 30 that's majority of how the relationship's always going to work yeah right so well so how it's supposed to be or how we want it to be is 100 100 we didn't say that okay so because <laughs> you saying 70 and 30 this, okay no listen oh, this i'm throwing is, off you <laughs> y'all 
this is why I want to talk about these things before we get on a podcast. And he's like, nah, nah, like, I don't, I don't want to talk about it because I want it to be organic or whatever terms you be using. But this is why we need to talk about it beforehand, because yes, disclaimer for people who think like Trey, always give a hundred percent in your relationships. We're not talking about the percentage like given Uh because it's supposed to be a hundred. But ba- but we're talking about balance as far as like like energy level and like a give and take thing. You're always a hundred percent in your relationship. This is who you okay. with. But we're talking. I got you. You ain't explain that. <laughs> you ain't explain. It. I was about to go off. What you mean you giving fifty? I'm giving thirty and you giving seventy. This is gonna start an argument. <laughs> <laughs> like stand by. Bing. All right, we're back. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> okay, no, I understand what you're saying. Yes, so, disclaimer, always, yeah. y'all, if you're in a relationship, always give 100%. We're talking, for me, when I say 50-50, I'm talking about a balance, about an energy, about yeah. effort at the, you know, in those specific moments and stuff like that. Because, like, like um, the meme I saw about uh, a guy was like, why women always get bad when they start cleaning? And then the girl was like, because we want you to help. So it was like, you know, thing, little yeah. things like that where it's like, I feel like I'm giving up so much of my energy to make certain things work or get things done. Mm-hmm. And y'all just chilling on the couch. Yeah. So it's like, you have to also get out your head that sometimes, like sometimes I don't have the energy to give. Mm-hmm. I might not be feeling well that day. Or you might not have had a great day and you might be exhausted. So like, how is it? How are you gonna give me fifty percent? Yeah. How are you gonna give me the other half of the energy that I need? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like, like personally in our relationship, um, I'm the type of person that always think that you know I'm doing the right thing, which I'm ninety percent <laughs> accurate, right? No, ninety percent <laughs> accurate. So a lot of times because of like how I am, I do feel like I'm giving a lot. A lot, yeah. I feel like I'm giving a lot more, but is is is. A lot of times it's because you don't care. <laughs> you really don't care. <laughs> like what you, what you mean? Like, like okay, with the situation, I was cooking grits. All right, I was cooking grits. I I have a routine of cooking you breakfast in the morning, mm-hmm. and I do that because like I care for you, so oh, on and so about forth. This argument that we had, whatever. So <laughs> I care for you. I you know I think about you. I want you to eat, but for you. Like in your mind, you're not thinking, "Oh, I need to put in this effort to make sure he he like can he eats or not 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 necessarily yeah, eat, I, but I, like I, yeah. like I feel like I go over and above in that specific area, not in everything. Which in that he specific doesn't. Area. He literally cooks breakfast because he has to eat, but then he just cooks a little bit more. It's not like he's okay. going out his way to cook me food. It's the process that I go through. <laughs> like, I ask you. I walk. I intentionally walk into the room. Hey, babe. Now you do. Are you hungry? Because I had to fire you up the first I few been, times you okay. didn't do it. I've been doing it. <laughs> Let's not show out in front of the people, okay? <laughs> Let's not show out. But but I'm just saying just in that arena, like sometimes I do feel like I, I extend more, but... That's only in specific areas. Yeah. So in my in those areas, I'm maybe a seventy, and you're a thirty. And mm. in the other areas, and, you're a seventy. And that's like a perfect example for people who need more of like a realistic type mm-hmm. situation. It's where it's where you feel like you put a lot of energy into this one specific task, and then sometimes you're like, "Well, I need you to do the same energy. I need that 50-50. Mm-hmm. In reality, I'm like, "But that's not my strong suit. Yeah. So therefore, you finna get this good twenty. Mm-hmm. So you take on that seventy percent, and I take on that twenty, which end up balancing each other out. Yeah, and you have to be aware of those things because if you go into it with the expectation of everything's fifty fifty, you're never gonna be satisfied, and you might as well just get out that relationship and stop making the other person mis- mm-hmm. miserable because yeah. that's what you're doing. You're making your spouse, the person you're dating, whoever you live with, that friend, your roommate, you're making them miserable because you have the expectation that everything is going to be 50-50. Yeah, and I just had a thought that come to my, came to my mind. I'm standing up for the fellas on this one. So when the ladies are like, I want you to love on me. You don't love on me enough. I'll be loving on you. I'll be hugging on you. Sometimes the guys, we, just, I mean, well, not me because I'm physical touch. That's my love language. But, but guys, we just be like, look, I don't. I just I can I can give you twenty percent. That's all I can give. 
I can give twenty percent. Do but, not try that. <laughs> like, but when it's like when it's switched or like a situation like, hey, I'm going to take care of you. Men, we like ninety percent. Like I'm gonna take. I'm gonna whatever I got to do. I'm gonna take care of you. Yeah, and that's so that's like the give and take. Yeah, okay. I mean that's what they choose to do. Like I said, different households have different things. That's true. You know, I just felt like I had to step up for my fellas. So, you know. <laughs> Okay, but it, it's fun. It's glad I'm glad that you said that in the sense of like when it comes to balance and stuff. A lot of times people, um, there's it's not um exemptions or anything, but it's like a a role, like an automatic role. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, which leads me to gender roles, right? And the expectations of those things, right? Because before you get married, it's like the typical thing: the guys pay for the bills the women clean and take care of the kids right that's super 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 stereotypical mm-hmm. right and it's funny because we just saw um who was that doing an interview was asking um the interview with ti and he was asking like why um uh, yeah, 21, 21 Savage, yeah, yeah and 21 was asking he was like why um why do guys have to pay for stuff mm-hmm. you know which obviously the we know the obvious answer, which is that's how society, that's how America was built. It was mm-hmm. built on the men go to work, women can't work, women can't do stuff. So therefore, that just trickled down to forever. Yeah, and you know we know that basic answer, but he made a good point. That made me think about gender roles. Like, what was for you? Like, what was your expectation or your thought on what I was supposed to do based off just because I'm a woman. Like you really asking me? No, I'm really asking you. Like okay. we this is we're being real. I know, but tell the listeners what, you know, your typical expectation would be. Was it because just society or it was that just how you grew up or Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Most of it came from how I grew up. I grew up in the household uh my mom pretty much took care of everything. Mm-hmm. Uh when my sister and I were younger she didn't put us in no daycare. She didn't do none of that. She took care of us all the time. The house was more so clean. We knew how to clean the house. She made us clean, but the house itself was spotless. So in my mind, I'm coming into this marriage. I'm like, yo, all right, I'm going to have full course, full course meals every day. I'm going to have, um, I mean, a clean house. I'm going to have fold, clothes folded, so on and so forth, because... All I saw was my dad working and my mom mm-hmm. doing that, taking care of it. But when we got married. <laughs> but you married Logan. <laughs> I, I, I I slowly realized. I ain't going to say it was quick because I feel like we just now getting on this place of like. Understanding. Understanding and, and being okay with. Um, but I mean, we still got growing to do. But. um I just I feel like now we're at a point two years in we're at a point where it's like okay I understand this is kind you. of yeah this is who you are is- so sh- should I tell Logan let me look at the camera and say this Logan does not like to clean okay I know that everybody okay, doesn't like to clean hold on, hold on. well okay, be, okay you have to be way more specific okay because- okay 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 I'll do this Logan doesn't like to clean in the kitchen it, okay the kitchen in general that's not really Logan's Okay. Uh, she gives twenty percent. Okay, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's back up, back up, back up. <laughs> I cleaned. I keep things tidy and clean. Yeah, it's just not to his level of what his mama did. So yeah. therefore, anything at not at that level is dirty and filthy. Yeah, and not in a sense of like I don't know how to clean well. It's just. I'm not scrubbing floors and cleaning windowsills every day because I have a job yeah. that I go to. So, <laughs> so like I was saying, my wife is a twenty percent when it comes oh, to Lord. the See, when it comes to the, the kitchen. Thing, y'all, but, but, but okay, is, so I'm not no, saying real quick, real quick. He's trying to trigger me, and I'm not gonna let him. So <laughs> I'm gonna let him finish, and then we're gonna then I'm gonna move to my my thoughts. That's fine. Goals. That's fine. All I'm saying is. I was able to step up. I made the decision. All right, she ain't gonna do it, and And I can't just do it. Okay, (laughs) I do it. I give eighty (laughs) percent. I give eighty percent. You give eighty percent to yelling at me, not actually doing it. I give. I take. I pick up the slack that you leave. No, you don't. I pick up. All right, we gonna have this discussion after the. Stand by. 
and we're back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but mine, um, which, okay, which is even funnier is like, because my experience with gender roles and what I saw or what I thought should happen, obviously I knew, I knew what society thought should happen, mm-hmm. but in my household, it wasn't that way. Like, it was, but not in the sense of, like, I felt dad expected my mother to do those things. I think my mother did those things because she had 11 siblings, and that's what she did when she was living at home. Yeah, because she was middle, right? Uh, No, I think my mom was second to youngest, but she was just the one who took the responsibility to clean the house and, like, make sure... Because she was just antsy about that, right? So... You know, I would see my mom cook and clean, but I would see my dad cook. Mm-hmm. I mean, he didn't clean. My dad didn't clean. He still don't clean. <laughs> but I would see him do certain things, too. My mom just naturally wasn't an outdoor person, so she wasn't going to be in the yard. Mm-hmm. So, of course, my dad and my brother did that. But I never had the expectation for Trey to necessarily do all those type of things. Praise God. Um because I knew I didn't like doing those other things. So mm-hmm. somebody got to do it. So I'm like, babe, we should do this together. It go by so much faster. You know, so my my thoughts and my uh, preference or views on gender roles was like, I don't care who do it. Mm-hmm. You can wash these dishes. Ain't nothing wrong with your hands. Like, you know, why do I have to cook and wash all the dishes and, you know, do all these things? I don't like cooking either. So, <laughs> 80, 20 in the kitchen. As she, as she continues to talk, y'all are going to start to understand because we have to eat. Like, it's not something that we can just cross out. I'm just so, saying. if it was up to her, we would be eating takeout all the time. No, we wouldn't. Cut that, cut that out. But, <laughs> no, we care. wouldn't. I was going to cuss, but I'm not. But cut that out. No. So, in our household, we don't really have any gender roles as far as like for me. I will do the quote unquote manly things like take the trash out if but it's heavy. So I'm not yeah. gonna hurt myself when I could just tell Trey to do it. Mm. Like or if there's dishes in the sink, he not gonna come yell at me to come do the dishes when he just standing there already type situation. So that was a good segue from Yeah, you know, the fifty fifty thing because you're expecting it in a certain place because of, you know, things like that. Yeah. I just I just feel some type of way because both of those was something that I needed to do. He was like, you Trey, you can. Why would I do it if Trey can take out the trash? Trey ain't gonna yell if he know he can just wash them dishes. I'm just thinking, what? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What? It's just that kitchen. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you just like to argue. <laughs> that kitchen, that eighty twenty, that kitchen. I don't anyway. know. But okay, so Logan, she does. She has been taking initiative on washing the clothes. I would say you have been doing I wash that. all the clothes and fold them. And then Trey will tell me he's going to put them up, but then he just puts them back in the basket and they sit in the basket for two weeks. 80, 20. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, <laughs> get out of here. Get 80, out of here. 20. And, oh, and for you new listeners, I'm just letting y'all know, it's always going to be a whole bunch of sidebars of us rehashing old arguments of some sort, right? <laughs> but we keep them in here because we want y'all to see the authentic... Break it down. Use your syllables. You know what? I'm going to find Authenticity. A, <laughs> no, I'm going to find a, uh, a different word. <laughs> Hooked on finance. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want y'all to see the real because um, real quick, real sidebar. Because a lot of times y'all have y'all have these um, couples on social media and you're like, oh, happy. And they make really nice, well, neat um, Pictures captions and, posts. Mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Because trust me, we've mastered it. But we only mastered it because it's true. But we also want y'all to see that we ignorant. Yeah. We fight about dumb stuff. We mm-hmm. argue constantly. We make I get funny. on her nerves on purpose. We make fun of each other. We do all these things all the time. Like, this is naturally us, right? Yeah. All right. So, we just got done talking about balance. Talking about how, you know, 50 50 is a myth. Like, balance is a myth when you talk about it from that perspective. You have to really go into it with the expectation of, like, hey, sometimes people are not going to be in it for that day. Yeah. And you're going to have to recover the rest of that energy for them and then you know help them work through it and then eventually they'll get back to giving you that 50 50 effort in making that 100 percent work for your relationship which then led us to general roles because a lot of times that 50 50 balance gets 
bulldoze because you have an expectation of what you want your husband to do constantly. And then you get into the relationship and you find out like, oh, well, he if he always do that, then that means I have to always do this. And if you don't always want to do that, why are you expecting him to always do this? Mm-hmm. So you need to readjust your gender roles and actually just take off the gender and say, this is our role. <laughs> this is just the role. This is how we rolling <laughs> this, you know, at this time, right? Mm-hmm. Which leads to growth within yourself and within your relationship. And I, I like to tell people with like the new thing that I've been saying is mutual growth is key. Mm-hmm. Um, the way to get yourself out of like that stagnant relationship that it's good, but it's not great. You don't know if you need to stay with that person or not. For whatever reason, the expectation that you set for the relationship is not working. And I was like, because y'all both need to grow in some type of area. Whether that area be knowing that balance is a myth and that you're going to have to give a little bit more sometimes when somebody's struggling. Or if that means, hey, sis, take that trash out. (laughs) (laughs) Like, you know, it's just... You expect me to do all this? No. I mean, and that's, that's essentially what it is. I mean... Just after you've realized those things, which it does take time. Like, I'm not saying, like, after this, all of a sudden it's going to click with you. Cause yeah. You, you you're up still going to be feeling way, salty about having to do it. Because you never, you never did it. Like, you never had the, to do it. All the time. Yeah. And for Trey and I, that's where we struggled with, struggled with, where it was like, okay, I had this expectation of what I wanted my husband to do or mm-hmm. what I wanted my wife to do. And then when those things weren't happening... And you were, you know, because me and Trey don't talk crazy to each other. So it's like, of course, if it wasn't happening, we weren't immediately like, it's fine. We wasn't like immediately like, oh, my gosh, like, what are you doing? Like, why are you not doing this and that? But that growth in you goes, OK, obviously, she don't really like doing this. So I'm not going to keep Well, he do keep yelling at me about it, but I'm not going to keep yelling. I got at hope. About- <laughs> I got hope. I'm not going to keep yelling at her about this because we're clearly not getting anywhere. So yeah. now we both have to grow in what we expect from ourselves within that relationship in order for it to continue on a good pathway. I want to ask you, what is something that you still are expecting me? <laughs> I already know the answer. I feel like it. you still are expecting of me and I just haven't got to that point yet or I'm just not doing it yet. Listen. Okay, I wouldn't think. What'd you thought I was gonna say? Money. (laughs) (laughs) This nigga still broke. This nigga still. Why you don't pay for just everything? This nigga still (laughs) broke. So okay, no, okay, so that is funny, but like no, that that is one thing, but it's not like the thing because I like we both have our goals for that, so I'm not. I'm not. (laughs) That is funny. No, but the one thing. the one thing that I do have have or still had and still have expectation for you, specifically for like my husband just in general, was being um decisive and um I'm trying to think of a a better word for like aggressive. Yeah. In the sense of like Assertive. Assert thank you, assertive. Mm-hmm. And with uh with you you have a, you're getting better, but you're not there yet because you're so clutter brained that when we go places, like I'm the type of person where I'm like, when we go places, if I told you what I want to eat, I want you to just order it for me or like just, you know, just little things like that. But Trey, just tell them the story. Tell them Trey, the story. You want me to put that back on while you tell the story? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Go ahead. And tell but, the story. um, so Trey is a, like I said, he's very scattered brained. He's constantly thinking about other things all the time. So we'll go to <laughs> we'll go to a restaurant like Bahama Bucks. Okay, so we was at Bahama Bucks. Mm-hmm. We're in line. It's only one person in front of us. I go, hey Trey. I don't remember what it was. I was like, Trey, just get me a strawberry watermelon like slush. This man would be like, oh, okay, strawberry watermelon, and then we'll pull up, and then he's like. Uh, can I get uh, what you want? And I'm like, just oh my god, like, just I just told you, like, why did you forget already? And the thing, and for me, the that specifically bothers me because I'm like, you're not listening to me. But the real intent behind why I want him to be like that is because it gives me, it, 
it makes it easier for me to let him control. And if you can't do an order or like remember what I said or like just be that dude, they'd be like, all right, my, uh, my wife says she won't yada, 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 yada. I'm like, I don't feel like hu husbands, not all wives want to solve all the problems. So like when we go to restaurants and you be like, man, get y'all a wife because she'll fix everything. We don't want to always have to be that person. Mm -hmm. So just do it correctly the first time just so you can be that person and we can be like, yeah. my man did that. But I tell you, I want something. You like, uh, what you want to get? I'll be like, I'm like Trey. See, and this is I think this is this is good for you to be authentic in because that's that's just something that I have have had to work on myself. I'm mm. I'm more so the uh passive in the relationship yeah. and you're more so the aggressive, the mm -hmm. assertive in the relationship. So it's not that I be like you know, I be shriveling up. Yeah, you don't shrivel up, First, but like I'm more I'm the person that's like do it, like do it now. Like why yeah. do you have to think about this so long? And I'm like oh, Yeah, God. but that's so so the fact that you are willing to understand that from me. Mm, growth. Yeah, <laughs> growth. Man. The fact that you're able to understand that is beautiful because you're allowing me to have the space to grow. Yeah. And that's what's real real big to me. because um, if you always own me like, get it, why you not why you not like why you not you do me? Hey, look, you can handle that. You I can, can handle, handle that. This, so you just gonna do you it. You can handle that. I can't handle that. But but uh, like real quick, speaking on that, real quick. When I say mutual growth, that doesn't mean because you're growing faster than somebody that it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. People grow at different levels, but as long as they're growing. Now, if you're in a relationship where you're like constantly growing and trying to learn, and the other person's like. No, why are we doing that? Da, da, da. Yeah, we don't need then to do it's that. a really good chance y'all should not be together, yeah. right? Or they just need to find something that they're interested in growing in, right? Yeah. But that is a good point where it was like I'm, I had to learn how to be patient with him and his process mm -hmm. within his growth. Because, but that is an expectation that he still ain't met yet. But, but, <laughs> but, like, just like you said, you said you need to either find somebody else or that person needs to find something something that makes him interested in growing. I've I've had to find that, yeah. and I found that it's in business. I know in business you got to be assertive, you got to be decisive, mm -hmm. you got to be. That's actually you know a a confession that I make every morning. I say, I'm the CEO who is assertive, and decisive, a decision maker who's task oriented. I say that every morning, and that business mentality motivates me to want to be assertive in business, but it's also going to help me in being assertive in the relationship, in relationship. because that's the thing that your wife wants. Yeah, that's what my wife wants. Yeah. Um, but I just had to throw in that when she told me the flavor that she wanted, we were five minutes away from where we was. There's a whole bunch of stuff okay, that I can think question. of in between that. And I want y'all to answer this if y'all still listening. Hopefully y'all are watching and listening. Five minutes is not a long time at all. It's a long time when you're driving and it's, you just... And I'm a person that I get distracted easily. I'm driving. I see stuff. I literally see it. I can see a fence and it reminds me of another fence that I remember. And then I think about what happened at the fence and, that's, and then so and on that's and so fine too. But also <laughs> I just gave you two flavors and two basic flavors that you it don't matter all the time. It does not matter. But anyway, y'all, no that's the end of this podcast <laughs> <laughs> for today. <laughs> but the main things that we really wanted to just talk about was the balance just letting y'all know, like, hey, this is not 50-50. And the sooner you realize that, the like, the better your relationships yeah. in all aspects will be. Friendships are not 50-50. You cannot expect your friends to do the same exact stuff that you do for them. Yeah. Sometimes, that's just, that's, it just doesn't happen. So the moment you realize that, then the better that friendship and your relationship with that person is going to be. Same thing with parents. Because if that's the case, we will all be disowned because our parents do way more for us than we ever in life would do for them. Mm -hmm. So I and I would say to make it even simpler, those areas that you're good in, give more. Go 80 percent off sure. the back. And those areas where you know, I ain't going to say yeah, the areas mean, no. where you know they can do well in. <laughs> well, in the sense, like in the areas that you don't mind excelling in, yeah. then do them. Yeah, it may you come know, easier. To don't you. go like, oh, well, if you're quick at dishes and don't mind doing them 
don't just stand around and expect the other person to yeah. you know, I mean expect them to help but like don't expect them to be like as willing to do them as you would because they know they slow so it's like whatever I don't want to do this you know <laughs> you stupid you know they slow so and then <clears throat> moving on to the gender roles re reevaluating what you think the role should the role should be in the relationships because those things change too. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing, mutual growth is key. Always continue to grow. Grow together. Grow in different areas. Grow in the same area. Whatever it help whatever it is, but mutual growth will help you get out of those stagnant relationships that are great, that are good, but for whatever reason you're just like, oh, this is something not yeah. working type situation. So that's all we got for y'all. Peace, love, and happiness. Keep a smile on your face and stay positive. If you don't know your purpose in life, please find it because your life will be so, so much, much better. better. Stay swaggy, y'all. Peace. You remember the whole thing. Look at right? you. Don't say it. Don't say it, bro.